Hello, I am back with a smallish haul today. Um, we went to the car boot sale on Sunday. It was surprisingly big for how cold and early in the year it is. Um, but I didn't find a massive amount. Um, there's a few good bits. Um, a few bits that I put on Instagram and have sold already. So that's always really good. Um, so I will just show you uh, what I got. So I spent a whopping 20p on this cute little jumper. So it is, it says it is handmade uh, Shanghai China. Uh, needs a little wash, but it's got all these cute little uh, flowers on it. So I thought for 20p that wasn't too bad. Uh, down here there are a pair of these like 90s uh, lamps. I can't remember, the guy said that they were from they'd cleared out I think an old shop or they had a load of like leftover stock from um, an old local shop and I can't for the life of me remember what the name of the shop was so that's really unhelpful but I thought they were quite fun and there's two of them there's a little mark on that so I need to see if I can get them clean because they're sort of matte um, so it marks really easily um, but yeah I don't think they've been used I think they are just leftover stock um, so they were five pounds for the pair of those and then from the same stall we got a bunch of uh, vintage curtain panels so there's five five panels and I paid two pounds for the lot so I need to give them a wash because I think they're a bit um, grubby um, and measure them and make sure there are some pairs in there and see how we get on uh, but yeah I liked the colours I thought they looked quite fun. I'll pop them down here. Down there. Okay. And then I've got a box of everything else that I bought. Right, we'll start with this one. This is a cute little marbled lampshade. It is new, it's still in its packaging. It's Pookie. Pookie do a lot of um like the sort of the ruffled part, I don't know, like almost like pleated kind of fabric ones but this is like a just a sort of small marbled one um so yeah it was only a pound so I thought that was quite good so hopefully get a little bit not as much as the the big fabric or yeah the big fabric -y ones they seem to go for a decent price but yeah we'll see with that one uh I think I paid 50p for this one and 50p for this little wooden doll. Um, it doesn't have any age to it. I just thought it was quite cute. And then that one. Someone's got one of these listed for about 50 pounds on eBay, which I think seems a little bit ridiculous, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I mean, if they get it, that's great. But I'd surely no one's gonna pay 50 pounds for that. I don't know. We'll see. There weren't very many on sold, but you know, we'll see. I think I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on. Sorry. Um, okay. So I paid. Oh, I paid a pound for this because I felt like I recognised it, and I can't find it on Google Lens or anything, and I don't know what it is. It's probably absolutely nothing. Uh, yeah. It says made in China for Woolworths. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was quite cute. I don't know. We shall see. I think it needs a good clean. I just oh, sometimes you buy things and then I just don't know. Um, same stall. I paid a pound for this one. Um, someone said that they, I think they tuck so that it sits like on a little shelf like that. Quite cute. I like the stripes. I thought the stripes were fun. Um, he had a little hole in. Uh, I fixed them up. Um, I did it as soon as I got it because I knew if I didn't do it, I would never do it. Uh, yeah, someone has asked about him on Instagram, um, so I've offered him for 15 quid. I just need to send a couple of photos, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, uh, I paid a pound for one of these uh, like chest expanders, but it's like a really old one. Um, some of them seem to go for quite a lot of money on eBay um, but they seem to have like the springs instead of the elastic so I don't know whether this one's been 
I don't know whether it's just a different version but it was a pound I figured it'd be good for like props or something someone might enjoy it um and then what else have we got I'm trying to remember where I got everything um there's two of these they are Boma uh Canada like soapstone I think little ducks um, I picked them up because I'd seen Nick and Andrew, I think they'd bought something really similar and I couldn't remember what make it was but I remember it was Canada and it was worth a lot <laughs> and these ones are not. I paid £2, I can probably get about £12 back so that's not horrendous. Uh, 20p for a Country Companions uh, little mug, um, I found those for about £6-£7 on eBay so that's not too bad. Uh, and then I think these are my favourite things. So these are Hornsey, uh, is that it's going to show up? It's really faint. Um, I don't think it's going to fit. Oh, there we go. Um, Hornsey f Concept. So those are the teacups and saucers. There's six of those. And then I've got six of the side plates as well. They're lovely, all that detail. Um, yeah, I paid £5 for the lot. Uh, so hopefully they will do alright. They need a bit of a clean as well. It's that matte surface. I think they were wrapped in like newspaper and it just leaves all the, the marks everywhere. So I'll give them a, a scrub, a bit of pink stuff. And that should clean them up nicely. And then... I've got a, a vintage spears game. Uh, it's not worth very much. I paid a pound. It's worth maybe eight, ten pounds. I don't know if it's got all of the bits. It's got these little round number counters. The board's quite fun. All those little faces on, but it doesn't say on the instructions how many pieces it should have. So I don't know. We'll see, I'll just list it with however many it has got. Uh, I've got that there. Okay, and then the last bits, I paid £3 for the lot, for all of these bits. So, we have got a little embroidered cat, like wall hanging thing. Um, this I have already sold on Instagram for £16, so that's really nice. Um, there's a whole load of these um, cat postcards. I think there's a few different um, designs. Like that, and they say uh, 1995. They were reproduced from a stamp designed by Elizabeth Blackadder and issued on the 17th of January 1995 um, so I think yeah made for Royal Mail I don't know oh there's a Robin one there as well maybe there's loads of different ones yeah, yeah there's all kinds of things in there right that's a fun there's a little rummage let's see what's at the back I thought they were all cats oh no they're not look there's alien invasion what else have we got oh these are cool <laughs> Uh, rugby league, another rugby one, another rugby one. Yeah, maybe I can do little sets of them, like the little themes. So yeah, loads of those. So three pounds for the lot. So there's those two. There's a little pottery pot because I make them into little bundles for Etsy. So I always pick them up if they're cheap. If they're sort of fifty p a pound. So that one I grabbed. There's a very eighties uh, bum bag. Uh, so that's quite fun. Uh, I don't know what it says. Does it say something? It just says something like Vanguard luggage. Very fun for festivals. Uh, one of these little leather wallets. This one you can put like your driving license. It says it's Montana calf made in England. Um, they seem to sell quite quickly these ones. Or these, I've had similar, similar versions. So, 
yeah and then one of these it's sort of a woven like aztec uh, rug thing it's only tiny it's only that big but it's not like you, i suppose you could use you could maybe reuse it and make it into a cushion cover or hang it on a wall i think that would be nice there's that one and then the last few bits i've sold all of these three as well so these three have sold on instagram as well so they are little well, quite big banners they are typo which i think you can buy those in like um i say like urban outfitters or something like that um so that one's got a two pound sticker on it so yeah but i've sold them for three pounds each um and so they have all sold on instagram but they were in the three pound bundles so i'm quite pleased with that it's nice when you sell things straight away and you don't have to do anything so i will keep those out uh ready to pack um that is everything that is that is my haul so it wasn't massive um i'm gonna go again next weekend as long as the weather's okay uh and we'll see if we find some more there's a spider in the box sorry um <laughs> yeah so thank you for watching and i will see you again soon